All right, Shalom Israel, peace Israel, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Barakata, also um, Barak Abanawa, Yahweh Bashem, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. My name is Ayasha Maf from the Truth of Die Camp, all right, in the uh, Virginia area right right now. Just want to hit you with a quick lesson, real quick. Um, going into uh, Second Chronicles chapter twenty six, all right. I want to give all praises to the Most High, all right, the God of Israel, all right, and um. Also, all praises to his beloved son. All right. Um, just want to do this quick lesson real quick to show you some of the technology um, that's actually in the Bible and some of the technology that we had um, back in our ancient kingdom of Israel. All right. I'm going to be starting in Second Chronicles chapter 26. All right. And basically right now, I'm going to just uh, go ahead and kick it off. It says this. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, all right, who is also in the scriptures called Azariah, all right, so when you see Uzziah and Azariah, it's talking about the same person, all right, it's one of the many uh, translation mistakes that Europeans or whoever made when they was translating our, our holy, our holy um, documents. It says, then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. He built Eloth and restored it to Judah. After, after that, the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uzziah when he began to reign. And he reigned fifty and two years in Jerusalem. And um, his mother's name was uh, Jecoliah, Jecoliah of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. All right, that's Zechariah is obviously talking about the prophet Zechariah, who has a book um, titled after his name. It says this, verse uh, 6, And he went forth and warred against the Philistines and break down the wall of Gath and the wall of Jabna, and the wall of Ashdod, and built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians that dwelt in Gerbaal and, and the, the, Mahun, the Mahunans. All right, now the people of Arabia right there is not necessarily talking about Ishmaelites. It's talking about the Negroid peoples that was dwelling on the, um, on the Arabian Peninsula or whatever at that time. It goes on to say this. And the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah, and his name spread abroad, even to the entering end of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Now, Egypt has always been a big uh, epicenter of people, and it's always been a big name, you know, country or whatever, uh, civilization. So, uh, King Uzziah here, um, he was a big deal, because they was talking about him even in Egypt, all the way in Egypt. It goes on to say this. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them. Also, he, be, he built towers in the desert and dig many wells, for he had much cattle, both in the low country and in the plains. Husbandmen also and vine dressers in the mountains and in Carmel, for he loved husbandry. All right. Uh, husbandry is basically the cultivation of the land, you know, farming and whatnot. Um, it says, moreover, Uzziah had a host of fighting men that went out to war by bands according to the number of their count by the hand of Jael, the scribe, and Messiah, the ruler, under the hand of Hananiah, one of the king's captains. The whole number of the chief of, father, of the fathers of the mighty men of valor were 2,600, and under their hand was an army, 300,000 and 7,500, that made war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the hosts, shields and spears and helmets and um, habergeons and bows and slings to cast stones. And he made in Jerusalem engines and this is the uh, this is the verse we're gonna focus on right here, Second Chronicles twenty six and fifteen. And he made a and he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men 
to be on towers and upon bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. All right. Now, what we're going to do is do a sort of like a focus in on that word right there, engines. Because it's telling you that this is the type of technology that our uh, father, uh, our forefather, a black man, um, King Uz Uzziah had. All right. In the Bible, we're going to focus on that word engine right there. Now, the... Um, the Hebrew word right there for engine in the uh, Lajuan Kadash is um is um uh Khash is Khash Khashban. Alright, that's how you say it in the Lajuan Kadash Hebrew, but this is how you gonna pron you pronounce it in the uh modern day Hebrew. Strong's H twenty eight ten Cheshavon Cheshavon all right, so that's the modern Hebrew right there. And the definition of the word is a device or an invention. All right, now we're going to go to where the word comes from, the root of the word. All right, the root of the word is um, chashba. Chashba. That's how you would say it in the Lajuan Kadash, but in the modern Hebrew, this is how you would pronounce the, the word there for engine. Or the root word for the word there for engine. Strong's H twenty eight oh three, Chashav, Chashav. All right, that's the root of the word right there that we're looking at, and the word means to think, plan, esteem, calculate, invent. All right, so we had great inventors back there in this black civilization of the kingdom of Israel under King Uzziah. That's why his name was so great and um and and famous or popular, or whatever. Make a judgment, imagine, count, to think, account, to plan, devise, mean. To charge, impute, reckon, to esteem, value, regard, to invent. See that we had inventors to be accounted, be thought, to be esteemed, to be computed. See that usually when you think of um, something being computed or computers today, you think about, you know, the Esau's electronics, the white, the Europeans' electronics. All right, but we was into mechanical, all, all type of mechanical arts and engineering back then, way back in this time. Um, it says, uh, and this is, um, I'm going to try to get the exact time period when Uzziah was on the scene real quick. So you can know when we had this type of technology. Um, it says right here, this was around uh, 7, this is around 768 B.C. All right, when we was doing these things, this is this is this account right here is from 768 uh, BC. All right, this is this is the type of technology had we had way back then. All right, now let's go back to the main word we focusing on real quick. All right, because it means device or invention, and then we are gonna read this definition right here and look at a couple more things real quick. All right. This is from the um, Jacinius' lexicon right here for, for help on definition of the word. It says, it says um, invent inventions, warlike engines, especially for casting darts or stones. Um, it says it compares to this word right here, which is chashba. Ch ch all right, the number one definition being ingenium. See that? So we had, we had uh, Uzziah had uh, geniuses working for him. Great minds and great thinkers, inventors. All right, and these are all black men in this Bible, man. These, this is a kingdom we had. This is, um, which in medieval Latin was used for a ballistia, properly signifying a machine ingeniously constructed. All right, now, when you read the word ballistia, which is obviously the, um, the Latin word, what, what, what do you think of? You think of the word ballistic, all right? And then hence, Ballistic missiles. Now let's go to Wiktionary right quick and go to the um go to the um definition for um ballistic. The etymology is it comes from the Latin ballist ballistia, which is a military siege engine for throwing stones. All right, and this was all automatic. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says um ballistic. Comparative more ballistic, superlative more ballistic, 
not comparable. Um, it says all. It said the first definition is all relating to ballistics, all relating to project uh project projectiles. That means something being thrown, moving under their own momentum, air drag, gravity, and sometimes rocket power. All right. Now let's take a look at the word ballistics with an S on it. It says um in physics. The science of objects that predominantly fly under the effects of gravity, momentum, and auto uh, atmospheric drag, and dealing with details of their behavior at the origin and destination of their flight, as of bullets or missiles or rockets. All right, now I'm not saying that he had like actual rockets that shoot off with all that fire stuff like Esau and the military got today. All right, because you know it was more like a mechanical deal. All right, the same way, you know, like in the, in the Egyptian uh, walls, you see light bulbs or whatever. All right, you see vessels that fly. All right, this is the type, type of technology we had, like them old school clocks. It was more, it, it was less electric uh, uh, electric, and more um, mechanical. All right, let's, let's take a look at the definition for ballistic missile real quick. But it, it already tells you that Uzziah and them was throwing uh, stones and darts out of theirs. It says uh, a missile that is initially guided but then follows a ballistic free falling tra trajectory. All right, so basically the weapon that they had up on these walls was the sort of device that I guess, you know, they could do whatever they had to do with it and it would automatically cast out darts and cast out so stones for them without them uh, shooting their bow and arrows or without them um, actually throwing the stones. They built the machine that would do that for them. All right, this is like I said. This is way back in like 760 BC, right here. Right here, we had this technology. All right. Um, reading over the definition again, real quick. It says "ingenium," which in medieval Latin was used for ballistia, properly signifying a machine ingeniously constructed. Hence, the French in uh, ingenieur. All right, that's the French right there. I don't speak too much French, but you know ingenieur. And of course, that goes to the English word engineer. Now, let's go to the um, let's go to Wikipedia real quick and see what they got to say and what they got, how they got defined um, engineer. It says that because this is the type of people that we had in our kingdom back 760 BC. All right, of our black kingdom, Yahshua Allah, uh, in, in Israel, man, because all the people in the Bible or most of them were great black men. All right, it says this. An engineer is a professional practitioner of engineering concerned with applying scientific knowledge, mathematics, and uh, ingenuity to develop solutions for technical and practical problems. See that we had great minds thinking upon all these all these different levels, scientific knowledge, mathematics, and ingenuity, man. All right. We wasn't just in Africa swinging our trees who's coming up and inventing uh, devices like this right here It says engineers design materials Structures and machines And systems While considering the limitation Im, Limitations imposed by pra, pra, um, pra, Practiciality Safety and cost The word engineer is derived from the Latin root ingeni, Ingenium Meaning cleverness Alright cause we are some of the clever, most clever people on the earth. And at the time of the, in the times of the Bible, when these accounts were taken and written down, all right, on scrolls, they were talking about some of the most clever men that ever walked, for, uh, walked the face of the earth, man. It says engineers are grounded in, in applied science, sciences and their work in research and development is distinct from the basic research focus of scientists. The work of engineers forms the link between scientific dis discoveries and their subsequent applications to human needs. All right. So we had great men and great thinkers like that way back right here under our King Uzziah in um, 760 um, BC. All right. So basically, I just wanted to shoot this quick video real quick, showing you the type of technology we was coming up with. All right. So imagine from this point going forward, what type of things we was coming up with, man. All right. So that's basically the base of the lesson right there. Focusing on that word for engine right there in Second Chronicles um, 26 and 15. 